Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Welcome to Trail Talk. Are you appreciating our cuteness on the screen there? It's festive. It's aren't those the, yes, aren't those the cutest little, uh, the cutest bunny and chicky you ever saw? I say it is. Yeah, me too. But I'm not biased. We, we are about to. Because you did those. Now, mine later, <laughs> we're going to stick with yours. <laughs> our favorite thing. I've never been one for crafts. <laughs> you know, they always turn out very cute. Mary. So we're going to, we're going to have to kind of go in steps because we have paint that needs to kind of dry. Mm -hmm. And then, so we'll go and go through and then come back and finish up. So um, we're going to start with our little jar bunny. So this so is, cute. this is just a mason jar. Well, that one's actually a cur. Well, jar. I mean, you could use salsa jars, I jelly had, jars. You could, and you wouldn't have the issue. I had trouble finding a jar that was oh, smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anymore they're all that they way. They all have like some kind of a Embossing raised thing yeah. on it. Yeah. So anyway, and also yes, I've already put some paint on the jars, but that's because it it takes a few minutes to and dry. It takes like I think you said two layers too. You yeah. don't want to be here with us watching paint dry. No. <laughs> you get bored. So, sometimes I think maybe our episodes are a little bit like watching paint dry. So we don't want to push. We it. have fun though. Yeah, for real. So um, we're just using white acrylic paint. Um, Mary did mention, I think she, um, maybe the, the um, remember the little, uh, sorry, scarecrow mm -hmm. thing we I was had? thinking Halloween, yeah. Uh -huh. Did you use, did you paint those with acrylic or was that spray paint that you did on those? Um, it was acrylic, but after okay. I saw this, I started thinking, yeah. So yeah. we think you could spray paint your mm -hmm. jars also. We, we, we just, just have a lot laying it. around here and didn't try it. Yeah. yeah. So um, I my technique, I just put the jar over you my mean. fingers. Yeah. And I mean, you just literally get load up your brush. Do you start on the top or the bottom or does it matter? I start like by the neck up here okay. and kind of fill in that little dip on there and then just drag your paint right down. And, and this yeah, is the embossed really well. work. Yeah, it really does. Um, you do have the little uh, paintbrush marks, Streets. and that's what we're going to go back over for the rest of it. So obviously this part is the back because you want the front mm -hmm. to be the smooth wow. side. Um, but yeah, we've got some little bristle marks. So I'm just going to load up my brush and go back over it. They're still, they will still be on there. But the thing I like about the acrylic paint is it gives that flat Finish. It's not shiny. Yeah, it's not shiny mm -hmm. at all, and I like that look. I, I think painted glass um, with that has a flat finish right. is really. I lost a bristle, really cool. so I'm trying to pull it down here. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have a, 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 a whisker, a stray black hair on my stray bunny, whisker on the bunny, <clears throat> the little white bunny, mm -hmm. little white Easter bunny. Did you ever have like a pet bunny? Get you know, I never Easter? did because my parents were always like. We're not spending money on that. You don't take care of the dog. Uh, Why are we going to add another animal? To well, this? I had a boyfriend. She got me a white bunny for Easter one year. Oh yeah, and yeah, she was she was really a very cool rabbit. I mean, she got huge. She was she was like bigger than this platter thing right here. She was gigantic. Did you overfeed or did she just no? Grow that she big? just got big. That's funny. I mean, yeah, and um. Anyway, uh, she, but we let her out. We had a hutch that was raised up off the ground and we let That's her out. out. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We let her out in the yard and she'd hop around and she'd come in and sit in front of the house and she made a little puppy bark sound. Are you serious? And she would let, sit out there and make her little puppy sound. Is there a sound. dog that you had too? Like we had a dog. The dog. We had a dog. And if the neighbor dogs ever came around while he was outside and she was loose, uh -huh. he would run them off. He would really? protect her. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it was a really cute little, huh? I think my mom got thing. bit by a rabbit once. Maybe really? that was another reason. I'm I always one of those colored chips, you know? People yes, always got colored chips. Yes. I always thought that those At, were like fun. Easter time. Yeah. 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 I remember I'm coming over. Did. I'm going to set this upside down. And um, when you put it upside down, you just pull your hand out <laughs> of it. The bottom is not painted, and you can just hold it with the rim. I'm just going to set it over here to the side to dry. The drying station. The drying station, yes. Um, but I am going to show you guys. Oh, the lid. Uh huh. Um, these are, you know, it's just the canning rings right. and flats, and um, just paint those 
the oh, paint ends up with a flat finish mm -hmm. on them as well. And so, I mean, it all just blends in. Yeah, it just blends in. I've done those, some marks on this one. My are... <laughs> Mary's got made a palette out of her hand, yeah. paint palette. So anyway, I mean, that's that's like that. So I'm just going to set that right there. I'm super excited about this. Yeah, I think they're just cute. Aren't they adorable? You can put stuff in them too and just take the lid. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I did see one that instead of putting a lid, they wrapped twine around it. I made it more like. And then like, like an open mm -hmm. top on it. Mm -hmm. And then they just kind of put some kind of ears on there. But I, I kind of like this where you could put the ears. Okay, so now we're going to go to the little chicky project and this is a really fun kid project we um, we do some things like yeah this. we did something like this one time with um our cow pokes program mm -hmm. which is for two to four year olds and we have two sessions a year we meet on monday afternoons from uh um, yeah, 145. 1.45 to 2.30, yeah. and we do a fun little art project. And this spring, we added a an additional art program for five years old and up called Wranglers. Wranglers, yes, and um, very successful. We had like six of the older kids. And, but I'm the, I'm just going to tell you all that. Of course, a little publicity for our team. But um, because uh, we, just to let you know, we, we do have fun little activities that we do around here awesome. that are for younger mm -hmm. kids. So um, we paint with everything from forks to toothbrushes to combs, yeah, uh, let's see, wrap. cars, golf balls. Yeah, we've, we've used a you lot name of it, we've used yeah. it probably. So card stock, that's all you need is just plain card stock. Okay. And um, again, acrylic mm -hmm. paint. So we're just gonna are put you going nice, up and down. Or are you going side to side? Nice little blob of yellow paint on there. I'm gonna put a little bit more just in case I run out. Um, well, I put this guy like on the top half. I was trying to figure out some way that you could use this. You know, they're giant. Well, you could like for it. place cards. But I was you could think maybe a card. For oh, someone too. You uh, hold a down. card to give someone. Yeah. I like that idea even better. So. Let's try it like that. You can already see how you do one up and down, but let's turn it sideways. And so it be um, open this way. Yeah, whatever. yeah. So I'm gonna. Yeah, you could do that too. Let's, but you need to fold it. Okay. Now here's the deal. If you're gonna make a card out of it, I did not put that one on there the right way. Well, but even yeah. if you were gonna do it up like this, it needs to be on the bottom half. Right. Because yeah. Mm -hmm. So just something to think about. So you just take a plastic fork and you just load it up with mm -hmm, some paint. Mm -hmm. This is fun. Yeah. And we then and then you just kind of like you doing the back side? No, this is the front. Well, I mean the back side of your fork. Yes. Not just the time. No, because you you kind of need it to um leave those marks. Okay. So string over kind of like where she can string like yeah, yeah, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. And you just do it to where it kind of goes in a little bit of a circular. So it looks kind of because he's, right yeah, he's kind of a puffball looking uh, mm -hmm. little chicky to me. And you see, I got I got kind of a lot of paint there. So I'm just going to drag extra. And you can always more. turn it over too, just to drag it. You know, you yeah. can use the backside to get it yeah. on. This guy, I should leave him sitting down. He's getting wild looking. <laughs> He's been in this wind. Yeah. We have a wind here that we've had recently. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, the idea though, I mean, it's, I mean, it's texture. Things, right? It's just adding texture and <clears throat> some fun little. And um, don't get discouraged if it takes a minute. Yeah. Because it does take but, a minute. I mean, the kids, I think, <clears throat> would, would find this to be a lot of fun. It's just making those cool little marks on there. You know what? I wonder if you could do some. Remember, what is that paint that you kind of spit through a straw where you put it and then it splatters it? Hmm. You know, if you put the dot of it and then you blow through a straw oh, and it yeah. spreads the paint. I, you know what? I've never done that. <laughs> you haven't? That was something we should do next time we're doing a craft. I'm telling you. What do you think? There you go. Okay, so good thing we have an again. Idea. It needs to dry. Okay, do you go all the way around or do you leave the spot there? I, I just kind of went all the way around. Okay. Just, yeah, I mean, there. yeah. Okay. So here we just a bright yellow fuzz ball. 
is all we have right now, but he needs to dry a little bit. So, and we do have fast drying, uh, fast drying or quick drying, easy cleanup acrylic yeah. paint. So. And I mean, seriously, easy cleanup is right. Acrylic paint is super easy. So now we're gonna let this dry some more. Um, so we're gonna set it to the side and we are going to work on our, um, one, this is one of my favorite techniques of painting. I oh, nice find, yes, I find painting with shaving cream <laughs> to be. See there again, another medium. I, yes, I think it is. I, I was showing like my husband last night, yes. And he was like, I think people do Easter eggs with this. What are you going to do? You know what? I think you're right. I think they do. What are they, like roll them around? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I bought a kit this year that does this, but that's what we should have done. Oh, well, we're going to make big paper ones instead that's right. that your kids could hang or make little what, uh, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So um, you don't have to use a plastic, but this is just known as our shaving cream paint tray. Yes. Remember when we made all the snow, the fake snow, we had these things piled high with all kinds of uh, in mixtures. Yes. We did. Okay. And then you just, I mean, you want the actual shave cream, not the gel. Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite tricks is this is how teachers will put it on their kids' desks at school mm -hmm. and let them use it as a cleaner. Yeah, well, they let them play in it for right. a while. And then, yeah, then they clean their desk. It always makes the room smell so good and clean and fresh mm -hmm. when it's done. It reminds me of like my dad, right? Mm -hmm. I used to watch watch my mine shave. So yeah. That's yeah. I'd be um, the toothbrush. Okay, so we're going with pastel colors, of course. Um, because it's um, there's yellow right there. Um, because it's Easter time, so you just seriously just drop some paint. Yeah, we're gonna get it mixed up here. Yeah, so you just kind of go around. I think when we did this before, we've always done watercolor paint, right? We have. Uh huh. But um, the thing that I found actually said acrylic on it, so I thought, well, let's try acrylic, see what happens. Learn. Yeah. yeah. Some green, little Easter oh, green. This, this would be fun for your kids to do. Uh, true. Drop this um, honestly, everywhere. I think you can do this with food coloring. Pretty much probably anything that has colors. It's a large maybe. glob of green. I didn't mean for that to happen. That's the Easter box. It was like it was, uh, yeah, now the wall. pink. I mean, this looks like to me the 80s. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Eye dye type, yes, hyper color thing, right? Here we got going. Could have some super get our slouch socks going, Maria. You know, super nice looking outfit with all yeah. these colors, like splatter paint looking. Yeah. Um, okay, so you need to have a dragging tool. Um, so we've got these some straws, and um, so you just you just drag, you know, how like whenever you make a cake. And you marble it. It's the. It's basically the same just thing. Make like little streaks and kind yeah. of just get it. Yeah. Because this. In fact, so I think pretty. That is so it pretty. Is pretty. I feel like we might need to have a more little paint. bit more paint. Yeah, I'm thinking There's a lot of white thick. spots because the cool thing about mm -hmm. this is wherever you put the. Um, there we go. Wherever you put your paper on here, at uh, what where it touches it it just attaches itself mm -hmm. to the paper. I mean, last night I was showing my husband how to do this and he goes, oh, now do you have to let it dry? And I said, no, you scrape it just off scrape it and in. right away it's it's ready. It's ready. It kind of reminds go. me, you've seen those videos where people do the dip fingernail polish and the dips where they spray, spray paint on water and then they just dip it. Yes. And it comes out painted. Yes, I have seen those. Did it work with Oh, here they are. <laughs> looking for stuff. This I hid I hid them from myself. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now you've cut out an <laughs> Easter egg. I do not have any tips say, on how cool. to cut an Easter egg. There's here's your um, scissors. Right okay. Now. Yeah, I was looking for a form to trace. So there. um so I just kind of start going and uh eggs are you know you kind of same. go narrower at one end. Then at the other end, and you can always like trim it some more if you need to once you finish cutting. I can see I lost my shape a little bit, my rounded shape. I 
have a jumbo grade eight extra large. Yeah. Is it supposed to be that big or does it matter? That one might have been painful for the poor little chicken who laid it there. The Mary said. Said. <laughs> well, I always thought it'd be better to trim back than um, to I mean, have it. Yeah, it's somewhat right. of an oval. I mean, you know, it's it's gonna be okay, whichever. However there we go. Do. That's probably better. All right, so then. I'm just going to take my uh, do you have the egg? things to hold on to it to drag, or are you just going to use your fingers? Um, those clips. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. To drag this mm -hmm. through. I'll just use my fingers. So, um, but Mary had a good idea. You can put like a clothespin on here. Because some kids, they just don't like getting yeah, messy. They don't, yeah. Obviously, not me. We've grown so, up that uh, it just I'm just going to lay it on there, smush it down a little bit. I'm going to pick it up. Okay, it's got, oh, it looks good. Okay, now we have these little card thingies here. You just need something so, stiff. Something stiff, yeah. I'm gonna hold this up here. Okay. I'm gonna lay it on the side so you can kind of see what we're what I do. And how it appears. And then I'm just, just scraping it off. It is messy. This part's messy. Yeah, this is, sure. it is messy, but it's super fun still <clears throat> in my opinion. Bailey and I did this once at a, uh, at the park here and with wind oh. and we only had one trash can we ran out of room to scrape oh yeah yeah that would be okay and so here's my easter egg look how, pretty. Look how cute it is it'll be cute too if we went over with glitter oh pretty. that would be cute because it, it is wet right now in some spots yeah mm -hmm. i'm just gonna lay it on this table it won't hurt anything and um it still has a little bit of uh shaving cream on it but i mean Seriously, it's okay. I'm gonna wipe my hands off so I can hold. I'm gonna go over here Mary. in this spot where this paint hasn't been used. But you can see, I mean, there's that's what there's it looks like. A lot of paint, so you can do more than one. You can make them smaller and have a whole bunch of kids do them at one time. Mm -hmm. The thing about using this kind of paint and not watercolor or um, food coloring is this paint. paint washes off better. Watercolor paint does not. Yeah. wash off very well oh you got a big pole there in oh the i do okay so if you have a hole like that it's perfectly fine to kind of just read it yeah and push, you push that part on there where it was. oh yeah okay oh, good job okay okay so then take that just kind of mm -hmm. yeah we'll go like that just kind of lay it on there and scrape away and the magic happens Ooh. Look at that, all those swirlies. Ooh, that looks good down there with the purple and green swirl. It's, it's so, like, I'm so it's like very excited. treasured. Yeah, that looks, I just get so excited about stuff like this. It's, it's like cool. magic. Just, every time you do it, it turns out different. It does. Even if you were to redip it right now in that same uh, stuff, it would be yeah, different. Yeah, for real. Okay, so there you go, guys. I mean, what a super simple, um, thing. Shaving cream is kind of uh, like be pre be prepared to just have like a massive mess. Yeah, and you can't let your yeah. Pack, this would be a probably that side on that bottom part outside and right um, craft. Yeah, you know, maybe yeah. To do, so that you're not or, worried about it getting all over your yeah, house or something. Like in the Whoops. bathtub or something. Put the kids in an enclosed area. Get to the where toxic shower where you yeah. shower down. Yeah. And so there's Mary's Easter Yay. egg. I Look at how those turn out. Aren't those so cute? I love it. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. And this is what your hands look like. Yeah. But they will clean yeah. up. Yeah, it comes right off. Thank you. Smell very clean mm -hmm. once it's all. All right. But the trick is you don't want to mix the paint too much because then you end up on the shaving cream because then you'll end up with like brown and yeah, green. Yeah, yeah. You want to keep it kind of yeah separated. Yeah. So, but that drizzle technique worked pretty well that you were doing. Yeah. So, okay. Let us get our composure back after all of that shaving cream. I'm still fine. It's taking just a minute. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna check Chicky. Mine is still pretty wet. Is it? Yeah. He is. Yeah, mine is too. I can tell by just looking at it. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, how about the jars? How are they? Um, well, it doesn't matter. We're going to have to do one of them, aren't we? Yeah. 
Uh, this was mine. The back side of it still. I kind of oh, see what's wet, yeah, but we're going to be putting a tail on there. Anyway, yeah, I think the front's pretty I think dry. That, yeah, I think they're dry. Uh -huh. Okay, so to um, put your back. I'm going to get our little palette back over here because um, <laughs> we're going to. So you can see on this little guy right here that um, we add little face features, um, a little nose and a little kind of lip. Thingy, the lip, the lip smile. Uh -huh, and then some whiskers, mm -hmm. and then there's some pink rosy cheeks. Uh -huh. So um, the pink rosy cheeks are the pink. We're also going to paint inside the little this pink, right? Mm -hmm. The little um, thing. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, we're all going to have to do that. Um, so uh, the to get let's have some of the white. white. To get it nice and pale, how did you mix? I mixed. Uh huh. Okay. Like I that. mixed uh huh the pink and the white together. Oh, okay. All to, together, not just as you went. Right. Yeah. I just tried to make a nice pale, really kind of pastel-y mm -hmm. kind of pink. We just mm -hmm. didn't have any of that color. Lift your. Just need to do a nice mixy mix on that. Is that going to be enough for both of us right there? Um. Yeah. Probably. Right it probably okay. will. Right. Okay. So um, you take your, I think you should put the jar lid on, okay, because uh, you don't want to mess with the face after, um, you know, by having to uh, put this on. I don't want to have a chance oh, yeah, messing it up. Me. Yeah. So um, here's the front of your jar. So um, I just kind of went where I thought the nose should go maybe part a little more than halfway down was my opinion uh but you know did you start with the nose and then went from there uh, well actually i started with the little lip thingies with the I, lip uh -huh, i put those okay, on first and i'm not sure nose. why okay i did that it's a little tacky i hope the marker doesn't drag the paint off we're about to find out hey it's even Worse than that, it's not even leaving the mark. Oh, really? Is yours wet or? Yeah, my paint's still oh, a little wet. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's dragging the paint off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so plan B. I have some black paint here. Oh, we were prepared. Yep. Good. Some black paint. So I think what I might I actually do, do. We can use both ends of the brush for yeah. the eyes. Yeah, and the whiskers. Really. Yeah, so um, I think we can just do this with the black paint. Make it thin like the marker. Oh, that's been. perfect. Oops. See, there's, I'm, I rarely have a craft project that doesn't have like, oh, plan B, let's, you gotta learn to improvise. A backup, yeah, thing. Kind of looks like an anchor. It does look kind of like an anchor, or at least it does right now, anyway. Maybe my thing is up. It's okay. You just have a little smushy. Well, smushy now face. I'm starting to spray paint. Okay, so. And like an upside down triangle nose. Are we gluing a nose on? No. Nope, we're painting the nose okay. on. What was the orange for? The orange is the little beak on the chick. Oh, okay. And the three whiskers. Uh -huh. Oops. Okay, mine's in a windstorm again. What if we got a bent whisker? Yeah, we'll just put a little. Which doesn't really have to be a particular shape, but now honestly, with uh, oh, that white is really coming off. Oh, right. Man. Yeah, when you go, when you go back wet, over it. Whenever, yeah. well, on the wet side, my hand um, is touching. You're smart. You've just got your sitting. On uh, well, I don't know about that because my bunny's like um sideways. Okay, and then to do the little um 
rosy cheeks. You just put the bristles flat and turn a circle. To do what, I'm sorry? Oh, to, the cheeks? Uh -huh, to make the cheeks, you just put the bristles flat and turn a full circle with the paintbrush in your hand. Okay, well, we're gonna have to fix that later. Uh -oh. Yeah, I can just make it more circular than that. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Oh, look at the cute little cheekies. And so, you know, um, since it's uh, probably can't do the kind of eyes I would have normally done because of the wet paint issue. So you can know. wait if you want. It starts coming looking like a rabbit. So I'm going to say you could do this, but we also have some googly eyes. You could, oh, yeah, you could, just you glue, could glue some little googly eyes on. Let's see. I'm always afraid I'm going to get my eyes not straight, you know. One's going to be down here and one's going to be way up high. <laughs> poor bun. Poor bun bun. And of course it's going to have the eyelashes. Let's take something to distract from this whisker thing I got going on. Oh, that's cute. Very cute. So, um, as I said before, I've got a little, well, I'm not going to do that. And spray it up a bit. Okay. I got a little problem on the back, see, where it kind of rubbed off. But honestly, after it dries, just go back with another little coat, and I think you'll be fine. Here, you want to use this one for the pink? Um, we're okay. Okay. Um, all right. Thanks, guys. So, um, you take... Uh, just paper, you could probably make your ears as tall or as short as you want. It could be even floppy ears. Uh-huh. Just know that, well, I tried to use some felt. Oh, yeah. And it was too much floppy. Oh. Like they wouldn't, I couldn't get and them to. make it look like yeah, ears. Yeah, it just looked like, what are those ear rabbits that the ears just hang down like that? I can't think of the name of them, but that's what it's long eared called. or something, aren't they? Yeah, I can't. Loppy, loppy, lop, lop, lop eared. Yeah, that's it. Lop eared. Yeah. Um, so that uh, that was a situation that we ran into with. Oh, using yeah. This belt. is this is going to be like a jackrabbit. Um, he's going to be a white Easter jackrabbit. I'm still not quite sure what mine's turning out to look like, but here's my face. Look how cute the face is. Adorable. So I just, I just went for it. This is just kind of a pointed, tall, it's like an arrow pointed, or like a surfboard with a pointed end. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. And so I cut one. Uh -oh. So to make the other one fairly close, I'm just laying it on top of the paper, and I'm just going to gonna cut around. It. Oh, it's okay because that's where the skinny part of the okay. ear is. So I mean, the ears are not going to be 100% perfect. But you know, uh, listen, if you're if you're doing a craft with your kids, it is a great time to let them know that perfection does not have to happen whenever you're just whenever you're creating something. And just, it really doesn't exist in art because what you think is perfect may not be like, or the other person may not think is perfect. Oh, that is true. You know? So this same pink. I just kind of took and brushed lightly to give that little inside of the ear kind of look and just kind of made it a little skinnier mm -hmm. at the top. Yeah, and just a little wider down here at the bottom. And just, just something kind of like that, you know, where it's just a little bit in the center. I thought you didn't go all the way up. No. And because it's such a thin little strip of paint, mm -hmm. so um, and so light, it dries super fast. So then I just folded, and I chose to fold just 
a quarter of an inch or so across the bottom to make like a spot to uh -huh. um folded it up and of course my paint kind of got smushed there but um i took the glue which was right here and just put a little bead of glue right across the base of that <clears throat> oops oh, no, more than i needed and then just glue it right there where's the kids i've got white paint on them now oh look at yours uh oh well that was unfortunate maybe my, i went too overboard on my ears too tall uh-huh which way did you fold it i folded it forward forward uh-huh <clears throat> Out in the middle of the lid. Uh -huh. Got that a little paint to touch it up where it came off a little bit. <laughs> there he is. Look at the little cute bun bun. Did you put his tail he's on? hopping, he's hopping to see you. He's hopping to see you. <laughs> no, but I am. This is just a little puff ball. You can probably use a portion of a cotton ball. Mm -hmm. This is more like the kind that you like a poof ball. Oh, like you pom -poms? know, yeah, pom pom. That's it. Poof ball. That was my made up word. That's the scientific. Oh, well, okay. I yeah. the street lingo. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't have glue on hand, you know, paint actually works as glue. Yeah, you can just it will. Yeah. But just a little. Mm -hmm. I just stuck a little glue and just stick it right on the back side of him hold it there for a minute i mean it does gravity does do some stuff sometimes anyway there's his little there's his little tail right there mine needs some touch-ups because i have scraped paint mm -hmm. and we have some wild whiskers and eyelashes over here but let's see oh look, look how cute mine's childlike this is like look. It's not like it's been what a cute a little bunny because I have black and pink all over here on the back side. <laughs> I don't even think we used that color. I have it back here somewhere. Oh well. Okay. Oh well. Try right. and put the little tail on there. Look at, we have a whole little bunny family up here we now. Do. That's the baby. Yeah. Now see, I because the paint was 100% dry, this one's face I used uh, Sharpie. Mm -hmm. But you see, I mean, that wasn't working for us. Time constraints, so we just went That's with right. it. Okay. Same thing. We're gonna finish out our little Happy Easter cards now, and uh, so we've got some googly eyes and some orange foam. This is just a little a skinny strip, strip of orange foam. Yeah. And so you just cut a little beak. Like a triangle, right? A triangle. Yep. Just make a triangle, and uh, then you'll just put a little dab of glue on it. A little dab of glue. And the triangle, the point should go down. I mean, you could put it a little. Oh, she. Oh, I closed it. I'm sorry. Put 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 it a little to the side if you want. Kind of like to. a little angle. Uh huh. Yeah. But um, just put the little beak like right smack dab in the middle of the cheeky where you think he's gonna his center is gonna be find your center yeah <laughs> now we'll lay this down too because i'm just the paint is so wet yeah. i'm just gonna kind of drop the eyes oh like yeah <laughs> Oops. doing a drop it like it's hot mm -hmm. drop it like it's wet I'm actually, I don't know if I should put paint, I mean glue down, and then put glue down and drop the eye off. And then you just draw his little feet. It's just like a little leg with, you know, little chicken toes. So like three-legged. Do chickens three have toes? Do chickens have toes? Uh-huh. They have chicken feet, you know, right? You know, could put like, you know, I'll just not do. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. My line looks like he's got a mint. I think it's because of the extra glue around it right now. Oh, right. now it's falling down though. Too much glue. Then you do what? The feet. Uh-huh. 
You go all the way. Oops, I still didn't want to write. And just for fun, he's saying bot bot. Easter Bunny. Thanks, Easter Bunny. Bot bot. And there's the little cute chicky. I'm going to show you mine real quick, otherwise my eyes are going to fall down because I have too much glue. <laughs> Make it fast, Mary. Yep. Make there, it gravity, fast. gravity thing. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, man. That's there's some huge. cute little Easter cards. Those, that really is a very idea. It is cute. Idea. And you could even, I mean, if they wanted to, see, they're following me. Uh -huh. You could put trees or eggs. You could decorate the background. Yes. I think this is cute just as it is. Mm -hmm. A little. Yeah, even on colored um, cardstock oh, yeah. would be very cute too. Yeah. Wait, what? Because the yellow paint is going to stay pretty true yellow, right? Even if you put it on some other colors. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids have stamps. Stuff. They get put stamps or I mean, uh -huh. yeah. stickers. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we hope you um, had fun with some little springtime, Easter time kind of crafts with us I today. I know. This, and these are um, my favorites. I love getting to uh, play like a kid. I know. I know. It's it's fun. Do you? Uh, Perhaps. Yeah. So um, tomorrow we're going to be talking to um, some folks from the Whiteside Museum of Natural they History. They did this before, right? Um, we they were going to be on okay. Trail Talk and um, something happened okay. and they weren't able to. So this is like our reschedule. So anyway, I'm pretty excited. If you've never heard of this museum, I can't remember what I was researching, and I, I found the whole them, time. yeah, it happens a lot. A deep dive on something and anyway um they have like it, it's in seymour texas i believe and they have like found i think it's a kind of complete it's a skeleton. complete skeleton of some kind of really large bonnie dinosaur right? betty bonnie so yeah, yeah. i think so I so anyway um be sure and i i'm not going to try to say the name of the dinosaur the not real dinosaur name we're just going to call it big dinosaur. Tomorrow, yeah. Um, so be sure and join us tomorrow and uh, find out about this place. I, I think it's probably joining you by Zoom. Right? Yeah. It's it's hour hour and a half away from here. Mm -hmm. hour, maybe two hours. But I mean, a day trip. It's worth you know. It'd be worth the drive. So anyway, thanks for watching today, and we'll happy see you guys crafting. tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So happy, happy trails. trails.